Hello everybody, this is David with another Verilog video. This one is on a simple SR latch, just for anybody who wants to uh, learn about them. So here it is, here's the whole module. Right here we have uh, input S, which is uh, symbolic for set. Input R is reset, and we have our output Q, which is our latched value. Now if you look up here to the truth table, if you will, the four different SR input combinations. If we don't, uh, if they're both low, then that should cause no, cause no change to Q. If reset becomes high, we want Q to be zero. And if set goes high, we want Q to be one. Hence the set reset. You're setting Q to one or you're resetting Q to zero. Now here's one thing to pay attention in designing uh, circuitry with the SR latches. You never want the situation where you're trying to drive set and reset at the same time. Because then you, what should the value of Q be? Should it be one or zero? You don't know. So as a designer or engineer who, who uses an SR latch, they, they make sure that th this situation never arises in their circuitry because the logic that is Q will really be undetermined. And no doubt that Q will move on to another piece of circuitry that is counting on that logic to be on point and it just won't be so just avoid that situation there um, so here's the logic for how this works um, just combinational logic really if s goes high then we set q to one else if r goes high then we set q to zero and that's it i created a simulation for it so we create uh, registers to drive S and R, set and reset, a wire to capture Q, instantiate the device under test right here, plug in the names that correspond in the modules, and then here's our script basically, our initial block. So we're going to start out set at zero and then we're going to set it to reset so we can give a value to Q. Well, I believe Q will start out at zero anyway, but this, it, this makes sure that Q has a value. When we start the simulation now after a tick i'm going to set reset low then i'm going to set the latch turn that off and let it sit at zero zeros to see no change then we're going to reset it to zero and then sit at zero zero uh, for no change and then after this five ticks i'm going to try and drive set and reset at the same time this so i'm going to put set reset wait turn them both off and then wait and turn them both on again and we'll see what happens in the simulation here's the simulation i ran it we got set up here at the top reset here and the value of q out down here uh, as i said i i set reset high in the simulation so q gets a value get reset we'll let it go then we'll do set you can see when set goes high q goes high we turn set off it's riding at zero zero so it's no change in q then we'll set the reset high to reset q back to zero at this pause edge on reset and then well you see what happens down here we do set reset at the same time it decides to drive the value to to one but that's really it's undetermined you can't rely on that you just want set to make it one reset to make it zero can't do both uh, I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. There is a simple SR latch in Verilog simulated in Vivado. Thanks for watching.